Hello everyone and welcome to one of Offer Vault's great webinars and you're in luck today because one of the most renowned educators on Offer Vault's roster of experts and great knowledgeable people is Leanne Carmine. Leanne is actually often asked for by name when people are saying, can you get somebody to tell me how to do stuff around here? Leanne brings a hell of a lot of experience in the internet marketing area and all portions thereof and uh, a great background as a teacher. Now today she's going to talk to you about how you can capitalize on the mobile industry boom. And Leanne, I just wanted to make a stupid observation in that I remember when cell phones first came out and you carried them around with a handle and they were the size of a suitcase. Uh, and uh, my first one installed in a car was like three and a half thousand dollars and it took them three days to wire it all in. And when I opened my trunk, I couldn't put anything in the trunk. Then we kept scaling down. And when the first flip phone came out, everybody yelled Eureka. And then they went down to the point of where you could lose them in your shirt pocket. Now they seem to be going back. The <laughs> smartphones I see now, we've got a five and a half inch display, we've got a seven inch display, and people are carrying around iPads as phones. Is the growth back to large displays one of the things that's driving mobile marketing? Because everybody in the world is now on mobile devices, and now they can see so much more. Is that kind of why this is becoming so important? People are throwing their computers away or using them as paperweights? What a great question. Uh, I don't think the computer is totally on the way out because people still do like the comfort of having a large hard drive and uh, being able to do certain things. And, you know, and people still need laptops for, for certain things for work. But yeah, I mean, people in a way, they don't want to carry as many things. So just like the, the cell phone kind of got smaller and smaller and smaller. And believe it or not, I actually traveled to Korea um, years ago, years ago, back in, in, uh, in the 19, around 1999, 2000, I was in Korea and they were more advanced technologically and they had these little tiny phones that looked like keychains. And that, you know, back in the U S I had a cell phone that was like the size of a brick, you know, that I <laughs> hung on my belt for work. And, uh, uh, yeah, so they had these tiny, tiny phones, but yeah, what, what it is is, yeah, people are seeing that they don't necessarily need to carry that huge, heavy laptop around. You know, they came out with the MacBook Air and then they said, you know what, I'm going to carry a, a, an iPad. And then some people don't even want to carry that. They just want to have a nice, big smartphone screen that they can do everything on. They can do some of their work. They can do their emails. They can do Facebook. They can do Twitter and they can talk. And and so I think just the fact that it's getting so big, it's accommodating people and yeah, cell phones are getting bigger, but now people are traveling lighter because of that. So that was a great question. And thank you for that awesome introduction, Rick. I love being an offer ball. I love all the people that I meet here and I want to welcome everybody. There's a little questions box. I don't know how familiar you are with GoToWebinar. There's a little questions box and I see that Jorge is here. So hi, Jorge. How are you? Everybody just give me a quick hello in the questions box. Let me know where you're calling in from. Uh, just so I can say hi. And, and what you're looking at on the screen, by the way, is a picture of me and my son. He doesn't look too happy there. He's uh, We're actually in San Diego at the safari there. And he is so tired in this picture. And you can see he was drinking some water and drooling and teething, I think. And uh, <laughs> so he wasn't too happy there. And uh, here's another picture of him just uh, earlier today. And uh, I took him to a park near here. I'm actually in New Jersey today. And uh, I took him to a park and he was running around and having a good time. So uh, that's that's my uh, that's half of my little family. And um, I just thought I'd share that with you because I, I know, you know, on the Internet, you don't really get to see people. Right. You don't really get to see um, who you're talking to. So that's me and my son. And uh, so Jorge's here. David from Michigan, I've got Robert from Florida, Mike from Toronto, Don from Connecticut, uh, I've got someone from Liverpool, wow, Ronald, uh, hey, Rick, what's going on, here's Derek from, hey, you're in New Jersey, Derek, where, where in New Jersey are you, I'm actually in Brick right now, uh, wow, I've got someone from New Zealand, Kentucky, hi, Joy, uh, i got, um, oh, hey, Mike from Ring Partner, what's up, Mike, um, it's not a location, of course, <laughs> but how's it going? Uh, I've got David from Canada. I've got, hey, Joseph, what's going on? I, I work with Joseph. And um, 
Joseph's up in New Jersey. He's a firefighter. Uh, here's Praveer from India. Hi, Praveer. Got Michael from Chicago. Holy cow. I don't think I'll be able to read all these names, guys. I apologize. But hi, everybody. There's there's two. There's a Jennifer, Ricardo, Joseph. Um, I've got Jamil, Warwick, Arun, Roni, Barak, Martin Lawrence, Mary, Oren, and DJ. And hey, DJ's in Bloomfield. I know where Bloomfield is. Well, hello, everybody. It's great to have you here. I'm so glad that you could make it. And here's what I've got for you today, other than a, a picture of me and my son. We're going to talk about the mobile industry. And I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step plan to start capitalizing on the mobile industry boom. And, and here's how we're going to do it. This step-by-step this -step plan, I don't know if you've seen my webinars at Offer Vault before. I've, I've had you know step-by-step -step plans for WordPress and, and other things, and they're a couple of pages long. Well, this step-by-step -step plan is so incredibly short that I'm basically going to leave it to the last five minutes of the webinar because what I'd like to do initially is I would like to give you a little background. I want to give you a good background on mobile and let you know a little bit about what's up and coming, what's going on right now in the mobile landscape. We're going to talk about what some of the issues are in mobile right now. We're going to talk about what's going well and what you can capitalize on. And I think that all of you are going to be able to get something out of this, the, the main content of this webinar. And then some of you are going to want to take advantage of the step-by-step -step plan that I've got outlined for you. And, uh, and you'll let me know at the end when you want to do that. So I'm going <laughs> to minimize my, uh, my photos here. And here again is my son earlier today, just about two hours ago playing. He's uh, 14 months and having a good time there at the park. And let's get started. What I've got for you here is, a, is just a basic outline and um, just step-by-step -step mobile money, I call it, right? Because that's what this is all about. And um, I'm going to actually make the my notes available to you. If you, if you Listen carefully. Listen to this. Okay, do you hear that? All right, what's that? <laughs> All right, so I've got, I've got a, what is it, five pages, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got a five-page document. Nope, I'm sorry, six pages. I've got a six-page document that I'm holding in my hand. I prepared this for you um, this past week, and I'm going to go through this. And I'm actually going to make this document available to you, and I'll let you know how to download it uh, a little bit after the, well, during the webinar, but after I give you the step-by-step -step plan, I'll let you know how you can download this so that you can have access to it so that you don't need to take a bunch of notes. You can just kind of listen and, and pay attention and learn. And I've got the outline here for you. So it's a step-by-step -step mobile money. And let's, let's just do some industry updates. But before we do the industry updates, what I want to do is tell you a little bit about why I'm talking about mobile. Well, other than the fact that obviously mobile's friggin' huge right now, right? I mean, nine-year-olds are walking around with smartphones. <laughs> my little 14-month-old son picks up my my iPhone and he'll walk around with with my iPhone to his ear and then he'll put it down and hit buttons. <laughs> he knows he knows how to turn on the screen. He knows how to slide it to the side. He knows how to hit buttons. He knows how to do all sorts of things that I've never figured out on my phone. He knows how, how to delete apps, how to open apps, how to make phone calls <laughs> at 14 months. So you know when a 14 month old is using a smartphone that smartphones are pretty much ubiquitous. They're everywhere. Everyone pretty much has a smartphone. I've got very few friends who, on principle, don't have smartphones and, <laughs> and one who does mobile marketing, which is very funny. But mobile is everywhere. It's what's going on right now. It's what's growing. And what's funny is that about four or five years ago, um, two guys by the name of Mark Roth, who you know from Offer Vault, and Howie Schwartz, a business partner of his, decided that mobile was getting big. And they decided to start a company called OfferMobi, which you might be familiar with. And OfferMobi is the original mobile affiliate network. Before OfferMobi came, came to be around 2009, it officially launched in 2009, started up in 2008. Before OfferMobi launched, there actually were people doing mobile marketing, but it was limited to people who were big you know big agencies working directly with clients. They were doing million dollar buys with mobile phones. And back then, smartphones weren't as ubiquitous as they are now. Back then, it was the feature phones. And so they had a lot of, um, they plugged into the software 
of the feature phone and people would be, you know, if you ever downloaded ringtones from a feature phone, if you're old enough to have done that, then these are the sorts of things that they capitalized on and people made millions of dollars. And if you guys remember the pin submit offers uh, in CPA, so in CPA, by the way, if you don't know, it's cost per acquisition marketing, right? So CPA, you're basically doing arbitrage, right? And we're going to talk a lot about CPA today as well. So you're doing arbitrage and you're buying low and, and selling high basically by sending leads to an advertiser. And with the ringtone offers, most people started doing those on the web, but what would happen is people would have to put their smartphone in, right? Their, their smartphone, their, their mobile phone uh, number in there. They would receive a pin. That's what's called a pin submit. They would submit that pin to the website. And all of a sudden they're signed up to pay seven, eight, nine, twelve, sometimes $15 a month directly to their carrier at the time, directly to their carrier. And the people who own these offers, they would get paid over and over and over again residually. Okay, so I know a guy who who creates dating offers. He's got a, a huge dating offer, and he purchased a company that had pin submits. And he said he years and years down the road, right? Ten years down the road, because who ever changes their mobile phone carrier, right? Like hardly ever. Nobody ever changes their phone carrier. I used to have Sprint. I had it for like ten years. And then I had AT&T for like another 10, right? So nobody ever changes that stuff. And so people who didn't pay attention to their phone bill were getting charged over and over again. He bought this company something like three or four years before, and he still to this day is getting like high six figures to a million a month from these subscriptions that people just never caught, never stopped. People are just paying this. So, so that's huge, right? And these days, not a lot of people can capitalize on that anymore. Why? Because pin submits aren't that big anymore, first of all. People on their smartphones can just download music. They know how to edit stuff that, you know, yeah, you can still run CPA offers like that, but you're not going to get paid residually, right? You're going to get paid that initial initial fee, and that's like running any other CPA offer. So I just wanted to, to bring that out there, just kind of the the way that that things have shifted and once offer Mobi started you know at first they had kind of a rough go at it they were trying to get people in there they were trying to figure out how to how to promote stuff that's back when i started working with them back in like 2008 and then and then at the official launch in in uh, january of 2009 and we looked at everything. I mean, we looked at all these mobile ad networks. We tried to work with different ones. We tried getting the offers and, and really OfferMobi was the first one out there. And then once people saw what was going on about a year or two later, things went crazy. And then all of a sudden you had, you know, great networks like MobAff and, and then, you know, which is a mobile affiliate network also. Yeah, NeverBlue started adding mobile offers and, and special mobile tracking. And all the networks started to realize that, hey, I kind of need to have mobile offers to where, at, you know, today, most affiliate networks that you're going to go into, you're going to find at least one mobile offer, if not a whole series, a whole section. So, you know, more, more proof in the pudding, right? Mobile is out there. It's huge. There's a ton of traffic and it's a little bit of a different animal. So, let's, let's get to today. Let's see what's going on today. And by the way, uh, I'm looking at the at the questions box right now, and um, Orin, yes, this uh, Offerbot webinars always get recorded, and uh, and they'll be posted a little a little while later. Uh, same same answer to you, Or. Um, so let's get started. And I've got my little piece of paper, and we're going to go through industry updates. We're going to talk about mobile CPA. We're going to talk specifically about mobile dating, biz app, SMS marketing, paper call. We're going to talk about this thing, which I'm going to not say, but you can read it. You're going to talk about mobile RTV. We're going to talk about mobile list building, about creating your own app, promoting apps, mobile websites, mobile SEO, international CPA, mobile social media, mobile keyword research. And then I've got some interesting ideas for you. So Let's, let's go through it, see what's going on today. And if you've got questions about the content, I've got the questions box open. Just put your question in there and I'm gonna answer it for you. So let's talk about mobile CPA. And, uh, and I gave you a little bit of the, the history with it. And, and I wanna tell you what it takes to succeed with mobile CPA this, these days. And again, mobile CPA is cost per acquisition marketing. It's you buy traffic, you send it to an offer, and your traffic that you're buying needs to be cheaper than the traffic that, than what the advertiser is paying you for leads. Okay. So it's arbitrage. 
So what does it take to succeed in local in mobile CPA these days? First of all, you want to move away from U.S. offers and into international territory. Okay? International, first of all, is less competition. Second of all, just the way things are in, in Europe, in South America, in China even, the industry is growing like crazy. And that's where you want to be right now. You want to be moving away from U.S. offers. Can you make money with U.S. offers? Of course, but it's going to be a little bit tougher getting started. Here's another thing. You want to find unique and creative ways to promote, okay, unique pitch angles. So it's no longer just about direct linking. Now you want to think, well, maybe there's a landing page that I can put. Maybe in my ad, I can talk to a certain type of person and really target that person. And now, of course, with the ability to market on Facebook mobile and Twitter mobile, you can actually do some demographics targeting, right? And, and that's true also for certain uh, certain ad, uh, ad networks. You can actually target by demographics, okay? So a lot more detailed. Um, you wanna use targeting redirects, right? So uh, so they've got trackers like the MobAF tracker, and you might wanna write that down, actually. I've got it later on for you also, but the MobAF tracker is, is a free tracker that allows you to, um, to move things around. And the reason for that is that there's so much fraud and so many incorrect clicks that even if you're targeting, let's say, Germany, you're, you're going to get some clicks in France and some in the US maybe and some in Nigeria and who knows where else. And you want to redirect those automatically to an offer that's going to make you money for that traffic. All right. You also want to use start using real-time bidding platforms called RTB. Okay. And with RTB, you're bidding per impression rather than click. Okay, so when you're bidding cost per click, you, you might be paying three cents, five cents, seven cents, 10 cents, 20 cents a click. With real-time bidding, you're bidding on an impression of you. And if you've got a great click-through rate on your ads, then that's gonna pay off more and you might pay a lot less for a lot more conversions. Um, when you're doing mobile CPA, you want to keep in contact with your affiliate manager and with your ad network rep, and you want to get you want to get intel. Okay, you want to say, "Here's what I'm looking for. Can you help me?" Okay, these are just a few tips before we move on to some other things that I think you're going to find really, really interesting, especially when we get down to this one right here that I'm highlighting on the screen. So, um, you want to spend more upfront to get uh, high, higher quality inventory in the ad network. Okay, you wanna consider maybe doing insertion orders, which means basically you get credit. Maybe you have a thousand or a $10,000 credit at the ad network, and they're gonna pay a little bit more attention to you, and they're gonna help you out a little bit more, and they're gonna get you the good clicks because they want you to spend that money, right? Uh, and finally, you wanna pick a niche, okay? You don't wanna just go around running every type of different offer. Just like on the web, you wanna pick a niche to focus on initially to learn. So you figure out what are the, the things that I can write down in my ads? What are the images that catch people's attention and get people to click and get people to opt in? You wanna get into people's heads and the best way to do that is to stick to one niche, okay? So dating, biz op, financial, Anything like that, games also is, is great. And I, I'm going to dive into into these things uh, now. And I don't know if you hear my paper turning. So we've got one page down. I have to go. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about mobile dating. All right, mobile dating. Now, dating is is a niche that's always going to be around. Obviously, right? People are always looking for somebody to be with, and you know they, they're looking for that in different ways and there are different angles to that right there's adult dating and there's christian dating and everything in between but what you want to do is you really you don't want to just run mobile offers these days you want to take it a step further and build a dating list okay build yourself a dating list and what you're going to do with that is Offers change all the time. Listen, advertisers change things. All of a sudden, the FTC comes to them and they say, you can't do this, you can't do that. They change something and all of a sudden, the campaign that's your bread and butter is now eating up your budget, okay? An ROI of, of 100, 150% can turn into negative 400 very, very quickly, especially if you're not paying attention. You know, step away for a day, come back, and all of a sudden, you're losing money, right? That, that's kind of an issue with CPA in general is that it's like day trading. You got to stay up on it. You got to keep looking at stats. You you can't really, you know, if you go away on vacation, you've got to keep looking at your campaigns or else you're going to come back to a really bad surprise. So uh, 
but anyway, so back to mobile dating, you want to consider different ways to promote. And, and one of those things is, is this one right here that, again, I'm not going to say out loud yet, um, but I'm going to talk about that later as, as a way to maybe build a mobile dating business, right? So you want to build yourself a list and send, send your traffic, send your list to mobile offers, okay, so that when things change, you still have your list that you paid for, okay? Let's talk about mobile biz op. Uh, biz op, of course, business opportunity. Uh, this is uh, uh, oftentimes uh, put together with financial. Uh, a little bit different, though, depending on the, the type of demographics that you're looking for. And mobile biz apps is really interesting because they, man, they they know how to capitalize on anything. So, uh, you know, they capitalize on mobile, first of all. And it's it seems like there's a new mobile-based business popping up every other day, right? There's app businesses you can create apps for, for local businesses. You can create apps for yourself and make money on the app store. There's SMS businesses now that let you build an SMS list for marketing. There's cell phone service businesses, right, where you actually get paid for people's you know, cell phone contracts, which is crazy. And there's mobile blogging businesses. Uh, these are absolutely amazing. The nice thing about the biz op industry in general, the, the multi-level marketing industries, is that you really get a lot of support. Um, you know, you're running CPA. Yeah, you've got your affiliate manager and you've got your ad rep, ad network rep. But in reality, you're really on your own with those things. You're really on your own to try and figure things out. With the biz op industry, you actually get a team, you get support. And so for a lot of people, especially starting out, the biz op industry is a great way to start. And they are at the forefront. Let me tell you, they are at the forefront of mobile right now. I mean, it's amazing the things that I've seen. Uh, and of course, with biz op comes residual income as well, which is which is a nice change, seeing as how we don't have access to those residuals in, in the pin submits that we used to. So uh, let's talk about SMS marketing. Uh, SMS, of course, text messaging, right? Everybody looks at their text messages. Holy cow. Text messages have something like a 90% open rate in, in the first five minutes and close to 100% open rates overall. That is almost unheard of. And, you know, the, the bad thing about it is that a lot of people try to take advantage of it were spammers. And so recently... The FTC actually had to jump in and handle some shady marketing, okay? A lot of mobile spam. I used to get it all the time. It irritated me. Um, you know, I'd get like the uh, da -da -da on my iPhone and it was, you know, free Walmart gift card. <laughs> it's like, great, I know all about that. Um, but, you know, you, you really want to respect people with that. It used to be an email that uh, that people felt really... I don't know, what would you call it? They, they, they felt offended when you emailed them. Now they're used to it. They're used to the ads, but on their mobile phones, people aren't used to that yet. So you want to be really careful. And a lot of CPA networks really don't like SMS marketing because there's such a huge potential for spam and for fraud there, okay? But if you do it right, SMS marketing is going to kill any other form of marketing. It's, it's going to outdo any other form of marketing because of the ridiculous open rates, okay? Okay. Um, so let's talk about pay per call. Pay per call is not limited to mobile. Uh, pay per call just means that you're making a phone call and uh, or you you advertise a phone number. Somebody makes that phone call, and if they stay on for a certain amount of time, you get paid. Okay, so the number, the phone number, is tracked and forwarded to the advertiser. Now it kind of makes sense that people have their cell phones, right? So if you advertise on a mobile phone and someone's looking for something on their phone and they can just click and dial, that kind of makes sense, right? Well, maybe not completely. Okay, now paper call offers are going strong right now. Don't get me wrong. And they've probably been, been around since before mobile really got huge, right? Because the yellow pages would have people pay for advertising and they would redirect uh, phone numbers, right? But here's the thing. There's issues with mobile, right? There's pocket clicks. People still get pocket clicks, especially with, with the smartphones. And you get something like, I don't know what it is. People just click on accident. You know, they fat finger stuff on their little screens. Smartphones may have huge screens, but they're still not as big as, as iPad screens, right? So people will fat finger. People 
are confused maybe. And sometimes there's fraud, okay? Especially with, with R2B platforms, I'll talk about fraud. But there's fraud. And if you've got fraud and a lot of clicks, the calls that are going to these advertisers and they're not real people, they cost the advertisers money. And if you advertise direct from, you know, what's called a click to call mobile, you're pretty much asking to be kicked off your network. <laughs> okay. That's pretty much what you're asking for. So paper calls a little bit more difficult these days. You want to have a landing page in between and, uh, you want to make sure that people really know what they're calling. So that kind of anytime you add anything in between the click and the actual advertiser, either the landing page or, or the phone call, um, you're going to pay more for traffic. OK, so you really got to work on your copywriting skills. That's the thing with paper call. All right. So are you ready for this one, guys? I don't know. Let me let me see who, who wants to hear about this one. Who wants to hear me say it? <laughs> who wants to hear me say that? And Ricky's asking, by the way, which uh, which RTB uh, Side Scout? Yeah, Side Scout's one RTB platform. Uh, didn't have too much success with mobile on RTB. Uh, there's also Human Demand, which is great for apps and for app developers. Uh, lots of other ones popping up. There's actually a platform that you can install yourself if you want and plug into all the open exchanges. Pretty much everybody is starting to move towards the RTB. Um, the RTB way of, of, of advertising. So you're going to start seeing a lot of networks popping up, Ricky. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so there we go. Okay. So here's all your answers. I had to scroll down. I was like, nobody's answering. Yeah. Say it. I do. I do. Hey, Mark. Hey, I was just talking about you, Mark. Do you have a cell phone yet? Um, yeah, Ricky, it's going to be on the, nope, no cell phone yet. All right, so Mark still doesn't have a cell phone. Uh, and that's uh, that's not Mark Roth, by the way. It's another Mark, my uh, my good friend Mark from uh, California. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have all the things I'm saying are going to be on that PDF. Uh, well, most of them anyway, not not the uh, <laughs> the extra stuff I'm, I'm explaining. All right, so let's talk about e-whoring. <laughs> there you go, you got it. E-whoring, um, kind of a, a new, really unique way to promote mobile dating offers and you're gonna love this this is so unique so here's here's what happens you, you know with the u.s dating things started to go down right they got more and more difficult it was hard to get traffic and so somebody really really intelligent and creative said what if i get someone to flirt with people and send them to the mobile offer <laughs> and lo and behold this is this is what they're doing they've got a call center out in the Philippines, okay, call center or whatever, it's not a call center, it's a texting center. And they've got a bunch of outsourcers sitting there, you know, probably getting paid around $2 an hour. And they're chatting up people on other dating sites, on mobile dating sites and saying, hey, you should go to this one. And when people sign up, they're getting costs for sale, they're getting costs per, uh, per lead. And they're making a lot of money because if you can imagine, you know, a 15 minute chat with someone and you're getting $8, for example, or $5, the more $30 for a sale really makes up for that $2 an hour. And when you've got 10, 20, 30, I don't know how many people they've got out there, you can get a ton of traffic and make a ton of money every single day. And how unique is that to move away from the automation of ad networks and all that stuff and just bring it back to people. I mean, how incredibly creative is that? So uh, really something that, you know, try it out. <laughs> Ricky says, say it again. It's called e-whoring and uh, brand new, brand new idea. I don't even know who made up that term. It might've been Jimmy it off for Mo because I was talking to him about it. Uh, it might've been someone else. I don't know, but uh, it's, a, it's a cool name, I think. And um, it's just, you know, the people are highly targeted. They're already on a dating site. They're looking for, you know, for somebody. They're chatting with somebody that maybe they think is cute, right? I don't know, maybe they have a picture up and they're saying, hey, meet me on this site. And they're great. They're great leads. They make great sales. The advertisers love them. And you can try this out yourself, right? You can go and, you know, practice your pickup lines, right? <laughs> Get get pay for a membership at a dating site or get your trial membership for a month, whatever they've got, and chat people up, send them to that offer and see what happens. See what happens. 
Uh, Andrew says, can I show an example? You want me to pull out my, my smartphone and get on the dating site and, uh, and start texting? I, I mean, you know, honestly, what, what would you do? You would, you would go and chat as if you're looking for a date and you'd say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on this site. And, and you send them the link, you know, sign up here and, and let's chat. So, um, or, or you tell them something about it. I mean, you know, you've got to practice. That's, that's the thing about marketing. Like, I, I'll say this, since we're talking about all this stuff, with marketing, a lot of people will promise you things, right? Like, if you buy a course, like, I remember um, this little 20-year-old kid a few, a few years back, I'm sure he's like 24, 25 now, um, you know, he's selling this mobile course, and he's saying, well, I'm going to give you campaigns. Well, here's what happens when you give someone, when you say, here's exactly how to do this, and you've got 100 people or 1,000 people, depending on how many they sell, doing that same thing, it doesn't work anymore. And yeah, it might work for the first person or first two people or first three people, and then it's going to stop working. And if you just give something, people aren't going to learn how to do it themselves, how to fix it, how to optimize, how to be creative with it. Um, and it, it's kind of, you know, I'm not, I'm not a religious person, but, but I love this saying. It's, you know, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime um, until, uh, until the oil spills come and then the fish died. That's another story. But the whole, you know, the best way to let someone learn this stuff is trial by fire, is to let them fail. <laughs> you know, fail, 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 and it's going to click. You know, it's like Edison and a thousand, a thousand tries at the light bulb. Once you get it, you get it, okay? If someone just gave him a light bulb, it, he wouldn't have been able to make them. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so when you say show an example, the example is just try it. Just try it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just try it. You're going to learn a lot more by doing and, and messing it up than by me telling you how to do it. But let's let's jump to mobile RTV. OK, so we're talking about real time bidding here. And now instead of paying per click, you're paying per impression. OK, you're bidding against other people in the mobile sphere for every single impression. OK, and usually, and I'll tell you this, usually when you have CPM, right, cost per thousand, you're paying for a thousand impressions. Well, in this case, you're not paying for a thousand impressions. You're saying I bid. 40 cents on this impression. I bid for I don't know, four quarters of a cent or whatever, like a penny on this impression. I bid whatever amount per impression. And if you've got the highest bid, you win. Okay. Uh, and that's, that's real time bidding for every single impression. Okay. Every time some of you, someone gets the, the ad on their mobile phone. Um, the thing about RTB is it's got a huge startup cost. I mean, $500, $1,000, $2,000 before you finally get a campaign going. And so once, once you've got a campaign dialed in, I mean, first of all, you can get just about unlimited volume, honestly, unlimited volume once you've got, once you've got the campaign optimized. Um, but there's some issues with it, okay, a couple of issues. First of all, because of the way the mobile CPA industry works, you might get a campaign dialed in, okay, so you've spent $1,000, maybe you made only 500, right? You got neg negative 50% ROI. Now you're like, okay, now if I keep running it, now I'm getting 200% ROI. And if I keep running it for a month, I'm gonna be super positive. And all of a sudden the advertiser changes something or the advertiser says, I've got enough leads, I'm gonna cut it off. And now you've just lost money, okay? which is a reason to build your own list and stick, in it, stick with a niche. And which is also a reason that when you're using RTB on mobile, you kind of want to do things like promoting apps, okay? Um, and you definitely want to use it if you develop your own applications, right? That's great because you control it then. But definitely sticking with a particular niche is going to be the best thing that you can do. So at least you can switch offers. At least you can build your list, okay? So sticking with a niche. Uh, there's also fraudulent clicks on, on mobile RTB. Of course, anywhere that, you know, that the industry moves to, the fraud, the fraud follows, right? All the, the black hat marketers and the fraudsters and the people who are just trying to make money without actually giving value. And, and the fraud that you have with real-time bidding is basically robotic, automated views and sometimes automated clicks. And so what you'll see when, when you're doing real-time bidding, you actually, be, you're able to target specific things, right? If you haven't done it, it's kind of like PPV marketing. You can target a specific website, a specific mobile site. You can target a specific application in a specific country. In some cases, if it's uh, something that allows you to have demographics, like it's a dating application, you can target women ages 25 to 35 in 
California, <laughs> right, who are interested in dating, right? So you can super target with RTB in some cases, but again, you've got the fraudulent clicks. And if you're not careful, one, one of these robotic click plays, one of these fraudulent um, placements can cost you hundreds of dollars if you're not paying attention, all right? So, so once again, we get to the issue of, you know, you gotta, it's like day trading. You gotta stay with it. You really have to keep an eye on things. It's, you know, there's no, no vacation without your laptop. Let's say that. So, uh, which brings us back again to mobile list building. Okay. And, and it's the best way to take over a niche. You can build a mobile list by collecting phone numbers and, and doing your SMS, uh, or actually people collect phone numbers and, and do dials, right? They, they, they sell via dials. A lot of biz ops do that. Um, you can do your own opt-in form on mobile. And, and actually there's a really powerful way to, to build a mobile list, which is to create your own application and have people register inside your application. Okay, and what that does is it gives you the ability to provide value through the application. Okay, so you provide value. And then people want to give their information when you're providing them value. And here's another thing that I've seen done. There's a, a game developer called G5 Games. They do this really well. They, they have these games where you, you search for, for items and pictures and images. They have a, a ton of these games. They're freemium model games, which I'll talk about a little bit more, freemium model. And in order to get free points or coins or game currency, they have you sign up for their newsletter. Well, how many people do you think sign up? probably about anyone who plays it, right? <laughs> anyone who's their ideal client who's playing the game is gonna do that. And they have it, you know, towards the beginning of the gameplay. So they do this really, really well. And again, that's another idea, but creating your own app is again, one of the most powerful ways to build a list on mobile. And, uh, and of course, you know, speaking of mobile list building, at this point, all your email marketing should be mobile friendly, right? Um, all pages that you link to from your email should be either mobile friendly or you should split them, right? If you're running, if you're doing uh, CPA offers on mobile, have an automatic redirect. Someone's on the web, great, send them to your offer. Someone's on mobile, redirect them to a mobile offer, okay? So it doesn't take much to set that up, but boy, it makes a huge difference. And there are trackers like the MobAff tracker and, and other expensive trackers that will do that for you. Uh, and you can build it yourself. Uh, you know, there's lots of resources for that, but you really want to do that. And, and listen, just, you know, maybe a year ago, it was estimated that, you know, between 10 and 15% of emails were opened up on mobile devices. But today that number is probably closer to 40% and, and moving up. And again, people are traveling with their smartphones, right? They're, they're not traveling with their laptops anymore. And so they're opening everything on their smartphones. So let me pause here and, uh, and check, take a look at the questions and see if there's any questions that I need to answer now. Um, all right, so Rick has got kind of a long question here. Let me try to make sense of it. Uh, about building lists, is it the same as media buying? So they go to your landing page, they give email, and you redirect them to the offer. Uh, are you using Aweber? And what about double opt-in? Okay, so there's a bunch of questions in there, so let me answer those. So when you're building a list, um, media buying is something different, right? Media buying, yeah, you could buy media and send it to your landing page, right? And you could do other things to send people to your landing page, like e-whoring, right? <laughs> you guys wanted to hear me say that. Um, you can do anything to get traffic to a landing page. But yeah, you have your own landing page, you set up your uh, opt-in, and yeah, Aweber works for that. I use Aweber. Uh, I use other things as well. And right, they can give you their email, their name sometimes, you redirect them to an offer and then you email them again with another offer and then you email them again with another offer, okay? And you don't want to spam, you want to give some value, but you've got their information. Um, and double opt-in, if you can avoid it, avoid it. What can happen on mobile though, is because a lot of mobile phones are on a similar IP, okay? So same carrier, same IP sometimes, um, that's going to automatically happen. You're going to automatically get that, you know, even though you might have it set off, they're going to automatically get that message because Aweber says, Hey, this is coming from the same IP. I better make sure these people really want this information. And so that's, that's something to contend with that. That's true. Um, uh, you know, but change that to, to SMS list building. And now it's a different story. There's, there's going to be less typos, right? Cause people have typos when they type in their emails, uh, on a mobile device even with the huge smartphones they have type, but maybe especially with the huge smartphones because of those little you know buttons and fat fingers. 
uh, phone numbers, much easier. People can correct them easily. They can type them easily. And you're going to have 90 something percent open rates and you can keep sending offers every few days and send them some freebies and, you know, whatever else to, to make people happy. All right. So, and, uh, how would you make paper call work with SMS? Um, that's a that's a really uh, interesting question, Barack. So, what I would probably do because SMS, you know, when you're sending to a load of people, you you want to make sure that that you've got something that's very you know very broad broad targeting or broad. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a uh, broad interest, right? So a Walmart offer, um, a free iPad, right? Now, when you're when you're looking at paper call, like I mentioned before, you want that to be really targeted. So the only way that I would see to do that would be to build a really super targeted SMS list. And what I mean by that is make sure that whoever opts into that is really interested in that particular niche that that you're looking at like if the paper call offers for um you know payday loans let's say you know they want to call and get a payday loan then you want to make sure that as they opt in you're giving them specific you know a specific thing that has to do with payday loans you know they're highly interested in it and then you can send them financial offers with sms but again you want to be really careful about pocket calls and, and things like that so um, that's what I would do, though, is make sure your list is super, super targeted. Um, and is getting a number better than getting email, generally speaking? At this point, yeah, Ricky, yeah. Um, at this point, if you're collecting and if you're doing an SMS list, you're getting somebody's number, you've got a direct line to them, basically, okay? You've got a, a direct line to them. And uh, absolutely. Uh, but then again, you know, you want to think about if you're doing CPA offers, then you want to think about, well, a lot of them are not going to accept SMS marketing. And so email is the way to go. And, and there's a way to make it work. You, you can make you can do well with email. I have a friend who uh, does email marketing and, you know, he gets on his, his slow months. He makes about eighty five hundred a month, you know, so um, any of the stuff can work. And, and like I always say, you want to focus. Right. You always want to focus. And uh, and yeah, Mike says most paper call advertisers don't want SMS traffic. Absolutely true. Yeah, uh, absolutely true. Uh, so and, and again, but if you if you got it dialed down, if you're really targeted, I think you can make it happen. It's just I wouldn't build a business around it, <laughs> probably. Um, and Ricky says, you know, if you've got CPA offers international, like in Europe, um, does it have to be in their language? Well, I mean, you know, think about it. If I was on my phone and I saw an ad in Arabic, which I can't read, would I click on it? Probably not. Maybe because I'm a marketer, I'd say, you know, who's this idiot who's messing this up? And I click on it to see. But yeah, you, you want things to be in their language, which is why there's a lot less competition in Europe right now, right? Because mobile marketing really started getting huge in the U.S. first. And now the other countries are, you know, in a way catching up. They, they're, they're advanced over the U.S. in some ways. But in terms of advertising, it really kind of started around here. So and that's in, in Asia, too. Asia is getting huge right now. I mean, that is the place to go. Like, if you can find offers in China and start marketing in China, that's the way to start going. And you're not going to have competition for people in the U.S. very much because, I mean, how many people in the U.S. can actually, who are marketers, who are doing mobile advertising, can actually read Chinese? And people are lazy, right? They're lazy. They don't want to get stuff translated. And, you know, that's why you do well when you do difficult things, because once you get them dialed in, everyone else is lazy, right? And I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, and I'm speaking for myself. I'm, I'm lazy as a marketer, too. Um, it's just this the way people are, right? We, we like things the easy way. Uh, but uh, we're going off on tangents. That's mobile list building. Let's talk about creating your own app. And, and there are really different ways to do this. I mean, you could go all out and, and build, you know, a $10,000 game and make it a freemium game. And, and with freemium, what that means is it's a free game, but you can purchase things inside the application, right? And just like I, I gave the example of G5 Games, their game is a lot of fun and then gets harder and harder and harder. And eventually, if you really want to play, you kind of have to buy game currency. You've got to buy diamonds or gold coins or whatever it is. And to buy those in the game, you've got to pay real money to the app store. OK, so that's the freemium model. It is absolutely the most powerful 
model. And if you build a good game and you use good psychology, you're going to make a ton of money. You're going to have that one user who is absolutely addicted to your game. Okay, you, you, you'll have people spending 99 cents here and there, $10 here and there. You'll have that one guy who is absolutely crazy about your game, who every month spends $1,000 in your game. Okay, so you'll have those people. And, and I, I used to go to a lot of uh, events like a game developers conference and, and I've heard directly from the app developers that this is what they have. They'll have that one guy who is just addicted to the game and, and that's his pastime and you know he'll make that purchase that you know buy $1,000 worth of in-game currency. And uh, as crazy as that sounds, it really happens if you build something good. But there's, there's other ways to build apps. I mean, you can buy a branding app, especially people in like the business opportunity industry, they'll get an app that brands them and, and they'll put videos on there. They'll, they'll give away freebies. And again, they'll have registration on the app so that you, they can build their list. Uh, they'll have push notifications so they can reach out to people and you can do that with any app. And you can, there's actually a market for creating apps for other people. Like you can create an app for a restaurant, right? And there's actually a white label product that I, I'm familiar with. I think it's called Business Apps, B-I-Z-N-E-S-S, -S, Business Apps, uh, or maybe just one S at the end. And they, um, they actually have a platform that allows you to build apps for other businesses, okay, for local businesses. And that, there's a market for that as well. So you could be building apps for other people and making money that way, making a cut. And of course you can, you know, hire a programmer for something unique. And um, yeah, and, and you know, the issue with creating your own app is what? It, there's an upfront cost, right? It could be $1,000 or it can be $10,000 or more. So, uh, but you know, you look at somebody like the Angry Birds creators, now they've got plush toys and now they've got candy. They have gummy candy. <laughs> Saw it the other day. Uh, so you can go big, but you know, what are the, what are the chances, you know? Uh, you're better off creating a, a good business model, right? right? So let's talk about promoting apps now. And, and there are two ways that we can talk about promoting apps. And one of the ways is, of course, as a CPA offer. And that's a great, great way to go these days. People play games on their phones. With RTB, right, if you're promoting mobile RTB, you can target other similar games and have really good clicks and conversions. But there's another way to promote apps, and this is kind of a hidden industry you can actually go to people who create apps, the people that spend that $10,000 to create an app and help them promote them through SEO, uh, through SEO in the app store. Okay, that's also you know kind of a new place to do SEO, search engine optimization, because the app store is a search engine, right? A search engine for apps. And you can actually post, you know, you can post in an outsourcing site that you can help people promote their apps and make money that way and capitalize on mobile that way okay so that's pretty pretty different right and let me uh, let me take a break here i'm going to take a sip of water you're going to hear my my water bottle opening kind of squeaks and mike says yep asking and candy crush uh, so i guess those are great um great offers right now Joseph builds apps. That's awesome. Right. And Joseph's for hire. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so there's another way to capitalize on it. Build apps for other people, right? Anything that you can do, you can, you can do for other people and get paid because there's always somebody who needs your services when it comes to mobile. Okay. All right. So let's look at the next thing, which is mobile websites. All right, so mobile websites, what do we do with that? Um, your, your website should be mobile friendly. Let's just say that. If, you, if you're running WordPress, install a theme or install a plugin that allows it to be mobile friendly, okay? Um, there's tools to turn websites into mobile friendly sites, okay, like, uh, what are they called? I didn't, I didn't write them down in my notes. I can't remember now, but you just look for it. There's like a... Oh gosh, I don't remember. Maybe somebody, one of you can uh, post it in the questions box. Um, and, uh, and Joseph's got his link here. I'm gonna send it to everybody um, in case somebody wants to hire Joseph. <laughs> I don't know who Joseph is, but you know, if you wanna hire him, uh, there you go. I hope that helps you, Joseph. And uh, so 
you know, your site should be mobile optimized, always ways to do that. There are tools to do that, tons of tools to do that on the web. Um, and you can help do that, you know, as an offline marketer, meaning you work with offline clients, you can do that for your clients. You can go to that local restaurant and say, hey, when I pull your site up on my phone, it looks like, excuse my language, it looks like shit. <laughs> okay, so let me fix that for you. And then you get paid a fee for doing something that costs you, you know, maybe $9 to do. Okay, just costs your a few minutes of your time to automate it via one of these tools. So, you know, that's that's what it is in mobile. It's actually a new blog platform coming out right now that not only is mobile optimized, but also allows you to blog via mobile. So now, okay, so again, we're talking about this movement from having a laptop to just carrying a smartphone, not even an iPad anymore, right? You just have your smartphone. Uh, and so we're really moving to that age, right? We're really, really moving to that age. Mobile SEO. This one's kind of interesting. Um, I used to I used to play around with this because I, I SEO was my business for a long time for many, many years on the web. And I played with it on mobile. I could figure out, you know, how come I can't get stuff ranking? Well, here's the thing. Here's here are the changes that are going on. First of all, everything's moving to social media. So it's social mobile. You might have seen that, right? Social mobile stuff. Um, so mo something. Uh, I forget the other part of it. Um, but it's the social mobile revolution. And now First of all, in Google, regular web, social media is what helps things rank these days, right? It's no longer, you know, a thousand and one black backlinks. Now it's social media activity that helps things rank. And here's the thing about mobile SEO. You know what ranks? YouTube videos, not even other videos, YouTube videos. If you want to get ranked on the first page of mobile right now, you're going to record a YouTube video. That's it. That's what, how you get ranked on, on the first page on mobile. OK, um, but there are things happening right now. There's actually a new blog platform coming out that's going to include mobile SEO. And I, I believe that in the next year, mobile optimized websites are going to begin to rank on mobile. I believe that this is the year to do that. And if you're into SEO, if you're into the free marketing, you know, into spending more time than, than you're spending money, um, I would focus on quality backlinks. I would focus on videos and I would focus on social media activity getting people to, to your links through social media. All right, so international CPA on mobile, I kind of mentioned it before, it's less competition, lower cost per click in some cases, and a lot of lazy affiliates means that this is a great place to start mobile CPA, all right? Lots of lazy affiliates. Um, so you wanna keep in touch with your affiliate manager, like I mentioned before in the beginning, you wanna learn about the best ad networks, you wanna learn about uh, the best carriers and devices that you wanna target, the hottest offers. And you want to keep in touch with your ad rep because you're going to get you better inventory. Um, obviously, you're not going to get the same inventory as the brands, you know, Best Buy and Walmart and anyone else who's spending a million dollars a month or a week. But you'll do better if you're keeping in touch with your ad rep and talking to them and giving them the idea that you're going to spend more. OK, so you want to in the way to get some good inventory sometimes is to spend more per click or to just spend more period, okay? So you might wanna sign an insertion order like I mentioned before. All right, mobile social media. Again, that's that's where things are going. Keep, keep an eye on this. Mobile advertising on Facebook, mobile advertising on Twitter, and mobile SEO, like I mentioned before, has everything to do with social media links and social media activity. And let's move to mobile keyword research. Right now, if you go to the Google Keyword Tool, you'll see that it's missing. And now there's a Google Keyword Planner. And what is different about the Keyword Planner other than a few things and how it looks is now they mix mobile and web traffic. They're mixing mobile and web traffic, which they didn't do before, which shows you just how incredibly integrated mobile is getting, okay? Because this is what Google is moving towards as well. It's a Google Keyword Planner if you want to search for it. You log into your AdWords account, uh, which you can set up for free, and uh, and check out the Google, uh, Google Keyword Planner. Now traffic estimates include mobile traffic. So that's, that's the industry updates for you. And uh, I'm going to browse through your comments and stuff. Uh, Mark says responsive, but I'm not sure what he's referring to because I wasn't looking at this at the questions box earlier. So, Mark, if you want to let me know what you were referring to. Uh, oh, HTML5. Oh, gotcha. OK, so, yeah, your mobile sites need to be mobile responsive. right? <laughs> so using HTML5, for example. Thanks, Mark. Um, uh, 
piggybacking. <laughs> yeah, sure, Joseph. Uh, Solomo, thank you, Ronald. Social, local, and mobile. Exactly, exactly what I was talking about. Uh, Hangouts, thanks, Mike. You know, I didn't mention that, and I'll tell you why. I got kicked off of Google+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> but now, yeah, you integrate your Google Plus account with your YouTube account, stream directly to YouTube from Google Plus in a Hangout, give a good SEO title, nice keyword tags, get people on it, and yeah, it's going to rank. It's going to rank, and it does. And uh, mine will never rank unless I, you know, cheat Google and create another Google Plus account. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can absolutely do that. Um, and yes, Arun, I am doing mobile CPA at the moment. All right, so let's let's look at some problems in the industry. I, I did mention a few problems, a few you know missed opportunities. But let's let's talk about some of the problems here. Um, and the first one is is there's a lot of competition. Oh my gosh, especially in the U.S. Okay, um, so what does that mean? It means higher click costs. It means less traffic when you've found that that targeted. Uh, stuff, you know, if you if you're just targeting Nokia phones on AT and T, um, and and so is everybody and their mother. You know what? You're going to be either paying a lot for click, you know, to where it doesn't make sense to your return on investment. You're going to have a negative ROI, or you're just not going to get all the clicks that you want in order to grow your business, right? Because yeah, it's nice to have a positive ROI and make five dollars a day, but it's a lot nicer to have positive ROI and make five hundred a day or five thousand a day, right? And, and I'll just say this on the side. One of the things that I learned more recently, which I wish I learned a long time ago, is go where the traffic is and find an offer that fits. Go where the traffic is and find an offer that fits. And go, go into the keyword planner and find keywords with lots of traffic and find websites with lots of traffic when you're marketing. Same thing, find apps. If you're doing RTB, find apps or find find things with, <laughs> find a lot of traffic, find the traffic. You can slow it down with your budget. And then once things work, you can uncap and run like friggin' crazy. That's how you make money. That's how you make this into a business. What, what I did for too long, which I find a lot of other people doing is they target so much, you know, they find an offer, they target so, their targeting is so focused that they cannot scale. They absolutely cannot scale. And what they end up doing is they end up having to create a hundred different campaigns to make money. And oh my gosh, that takes up so much time, so much time and so much brain power. You're, you're not going to sleep. You're not going to see your family. You're not going to relax. You know, look for the traffic, find the offers that fit it and run them and optimize that way. So that's just a little, uh, a little suggestion for me to you if you're starting out. So, uh, the text is missing. Not sure what it means. Um, okay, so let's let's go on. So um, there's a lot of competition. Okay, higher click loss, uh, lower profit margin. You get banner burnout from from lazy affiliates like me using the same banner over and over again from the affiliate network along with a hundred other people that are doing it. Um, basically, it's just harder for new people to get started in mobile CPA. It really is. It really is harder to get started, especially if you're starting with a lower budget and trying to build up. Just a high starting cost, okay, which I kind of mentioned. Um, it can take $500 to $1,000, even $5,000 in some cases to get a campaign going. Uh, if you're doing mobile app development, you can start at $1,000, at $10,000. And who's to say whether your first go at it is actually going to succeed? Because you might do it and then realize that, hey, I should should have done this differently. should have done it differently. Okay. Um and, and things, you know, and it's a lot of changes, right? Advertisers change things. They turn campaigns off. They say, you know what, I'm going to cap this to 50 leads a day, and that caps your profits. Um, you basically might have to scrap all your work and eat the losses, <laughs> okay? Because you know, when the advertiser turns off a campaign, there is nothing you can do. When they change the landing page to where it doesn't convert anymore, there is nothing you can do, okay? Which is really why you want to go towards building your own business around the niche and, and, and getting your own leads and building your own list. But of course, there's issues with that, right? Because now you've got even higher marketing costs because you're stopping people, right? You're not sending them directly to an offer that makes you money. You're saying, here, let me get your email first. You got to learn to do copywriting. You got to learn how, how to get them to convert. Your funnel might not work right, okay? It might not work the way you intend it to until you spend about $500 to $1,000 testing, okay? So it's going to take a lot of work up front, a lot of cost up front, and hell, you, you might never be able to, to 
to build this for yourself. You might pick the wrong niche. You might have the wrong uh, uh, the wrong pitch going on, and you just might not be able to create a strong residual income with it. Um, here's another issue: fraud. Okay, um, it's it's an issue with any advertising, but now it's growing with mobile. Okay, as mobile advertising grows, so does the fraud. Okay, so something to look out for. Um, here's another issue: if you lack a good strategy. Okay. Uh, if you're lacking good strategy, then it, you're not gonna, it's not gonna work for you, right? It takes time. I guess what I'm saying is when starting out, it takes time to figure these things out to get something that works for you. And finally, another problem is not knowing other languages. And again, you know, us affiliates are lazy people most of the time, right? We wanna do something simple. We wanna get it going, get it started, put stuff on the ad network. And if, if it's time to translate a banner, um, you know, from one language to another to create your own creatives in Italian or German or Chinese, you know, if you don't know where to go, if you don't know the language, and if you just don't feel like messing with it, you're not going to be able to scale. You're not going to be able to do it right. Okay. So those are some of the issues in the industry. And I, and I want to talk about some solutions. And let me just see if there's any questions in here. Um, yeah, and, and uh, Jennifer says she missed two of the parts. Uh, that's cool, Jennifer. Just uh, I will uh, I will let you know how to how to get that later. I'm going to have that information available to you. I'm actually going to give you a chance to download this. Uh, um, actually, the what I'm uh, working off of. I've, I've got a if you hear this well six page uh, document. I'm actually going to give that document to everybody here. I'll let you know how to download that at the end of the webinar, which uh, which we're almost there. Uh, so I want to talk about some solutions. Okay. And and here's, you know, for the problem of high startup cost, um, what's the solution? Well, lower the starting cost and even reduce expenses, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that today, okay? Because I promised you in the beginning a step-by-step -step plan. I said I'm going to leave it for the last five minutes of the webinar because it's that simple. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to give you today. So we're going to lower the starting cost. We're going to reduce expenses. Here's another issue, too much competition, right? Well, I'm gonna help you stand out from the crowd. I'm gonna show you how you can promote an offer that is so widely needed that you can easily target a sub niche that no one else is competing for, okay? No one else is competing for it. You have a unique angle, a unique pitch, and you can target those particular people and not worry about competition. I mean, imagine what that's like to not have competition when you're doing a promotion. How, I mean, how amazing is that? Something that's, highly highly sought after no competition in the promotion it's like a, it's like having a monopoly uh, another issue is you know advertisers cancel campaigns well i'm going to show you a long-term product that you can promote that's going to bring in money over and over and over again right and what's another problem campaigns are fleeting okay um, advertisers come and go they pause and they start and they realize it's not going to work for them and their businesses go down well, I'm gonna show you something that is going to not only be long-term, but it's gonna offer you a chance to get residual income, okay? So now, instead of being stuck to your computer, constantly doing arbitrage, I'm gonna show you how you can run campaigns and build your mobile business and not have to not have to, uh, to stay at the computer all day. You can relax, you can step away for dinner. <laughs> You can sleep at night and spend time with your wife and your kids. You can, you know, or your husband and your kids, whatever the case may be. And yeah, you can go on vacation and you can pause your campaigns at the ad networks and still make money. And finally, you know, I, I don't know if I put it up here, the, the issue of fraud. Well, the way that, yeah, here it is, the way that you deal with fraud is by through tracking. So I'm going to show you how you can have all of that and how you can make money in mobile starting today. And I'll give you a little, uh, a little income disclaimer. I always like to do this income disclaimer because my results on the web are not typical. Okay? My results are not typical at all. Um, most people don't make any money, and that's because they don't do anything. And so I don't know if you're the type of person who's going to do something, who's actually going to go out there and, and run traffic and try things, or if you're going to do something once and say, oh, it didn't work. It's like, you know, imagine if Edison stopped at the first try. Uh, he a thousand times he tried and then he created the light bulb something that's i mean gosh I don't, how many light bulbs have i changed in my lifetime how many do i have in my house um 
<laughs> it's pretty much it's like something that we all use. And if you just imagine if he stopped at number one or at number 100 or at number 999, he would have not gotten it. Right. So um, I don't know if, if you're like Edison, you know, I don't know if you go until you get it and, or if you quit. And so I can't tell you that you're going to make money on mobile. I, I can't tell you. That. I can just show you how I do it. So let's get to that. And let me give you your step by step plan. How about that? Very easy. Six steps. Number one, you get started with a product that is going to reduce your monthly cost. OK, it's going to do marketing and sales for you. OK, it's 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 like having an advertiser. It's like owning the advertising um the offer, but not having to put together all the materials, right? Because advertisers now, they have to work on their funnels. They have to optimize them. Well, you're going to get like, you're going to be the advertiser, but not have to do any of that stuff. It's done for you. And it's going to give you step-by-step -step training. Okay. Which if you're starting out, that's really, really helpful. Um, here's the step-by-step. -step. You're going to get started. You're going to get enrolled tonight. You're going to plug into a system that sells for you. And I'm going to show you all this stuff. You're going to grab your free training. You're going to activate and I'll, sh I'll show you what that means within seven days. And you're going to get a free coaching session with me. Uh, you're going to get a free coaching session where we'll look at your business and make sure that you're moving in the right direction, that you're going to reach your goals. And uh, this is the link, by the way. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to move the questions box over so I can see this myself. It's offervault.com forward slash free mobile. And let me show you what this looks like here. And then I want to answer your questions about the entire webinar. So here's what this page looks like. It's uh, it's called Solovate. I've been doing it for a while. If you want to learn more about Solovate itself, uh, you can actually go back two webinars, I think, and, and offer all two or three webinars, which uh, it's it's called Another Mobile Opportunity. Uh, and you know it's the right one because uh, Jerry Foster uh, actually put that webinar together. Um, and uh, Jerry, uh, I also work with Jerry and with Mark Roth on this. Um, and, you know, you can read a little bit about this. To me, you know what? This stuff doesn't even matter. You know why? Because I'm in this to promote, to make money and to help other people make money with this. And here's what this looks like. You opt in and you're going to get step by step what you need to do. You're going to click here and get your account set up. OK, very, very simple. Um, and there's actually um, a special discount set up for you today. Uh, so you can set that up. You're going to click here and set up your account. You're going to receive all the bonuses in that first page. Um, you're, and, and you also want to go here and I'm going to give you access to the marketing system that I use. And this thing is powerful. OK, so here's here's what this looks like. When you log into this marketing campaign, here's what I love this. Everything is step by step. OK, so you can see a trend here. Everything is step by step. Step one, two, three, four, five, done. It takes about, if you're brand new to marketing, it's going to take you about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes to get all set up and ready to go. If you've had some experience, this, this took me 25 minutes to do when I first uh, set up this system, 25 minutes. So you're going to set this up for yourself. And let me show you how cool this is, okay? Because we've talked about all these issues in uh, in mobile. And, you know, one of the issues we talked about was, of course, you don't really have any support, right? You've got your affiliate manager and you've got your, your ad network rep, but there's nobody there really telling you, here's how to do this. Well, here, not only do you have support from me and from other people, you have a system that is giving you step by step so that if you're brand new, you can get someone on, you can, you can bring someone else on, which is going to make you money. And you don't have to teach them anything because this does the teaching for it, does the selling for you and the teaching. So let me show you how this works. It's got a whole bunch of different lead capture pages that you can use. Okay. Lots of mobile optimized pages, very, very good looking, highly converting pages. It's got lots of sales pages that you can use. Okay. Everything's in there for you. If you don't know what to choose, it automatically chooses the best ones for you. Um, here's one example of a landing page. Okay. Here's another example of a landing page. I love running this one with the iPhone five. This is mobile optimized. You pull it up on your mobile phone. It's going to look great. Um, and here's a, a video landing page. Okay. You can actually have videos on your landing page. Okay. It's even got ad tracking. We talked about fraud and things like that and how to get things right. Well, there's, there's ad tracking here that you can actually use in order to optimize. Okay. So this system does everything for you. What you're going to see when you go and log in, I think the page looks something like this uh, that I have linked for you from, from your opt-in here. Um, 
Yeah, let me get there. Uh, so when you click here, right, where it says need more information, you're going to click there and you're going to opt in and, and watch all the videos on there because that's going to teach you everything. OK, and I'm going to show you exactly how to promote this. Okay, via the training, you can promote this on mobile, which is what I do. And I've got training in the back office for that step by step, of course. You can promote this with just about any method you want. And you can even just get someone else to promote it for you. And you can just let the system do the sales for you. That is how friggin' cool this is and simple this is. It pretty much solves like 99% of the problems that you might have with mobile marketing. And this is what you want to do today if you are starting in mobile marketing this is where you want to be right here so here's where you're going to go you're going to go to offervault.com forward slash free mobile let me put that in the uh in the questions box for you guys okay and um here let me grab this um let me put the http in front so you guys can click on it there we go. Okay, so that's in your in your box right now. And if you're watching the replay, then obviously you don't have the questions box, but you can just type it in. Offervault.com free forward slash free mobile. You're gonna get started. If you get started today, tonight, then you get all sorts of specials. Read them on the page. Click on all the links I've got on that landing page for you. Look at everything, read everything, watch all the videos. You're gonna see how powerful this system is. Okay. You're going to see how to get residual income on mobile starting today. Okay, You're going to see how to save money starting today. And I didn't explain very much of that because I'm really not into explaining products and things. But this is cell phone service. What you're doing is you're taking yeah, – mobile is getting huge, right? I'm getting excited now because I love this part of, of – <laughs> I just love this offer because what you're doing is – you're stepping back, right? Everyone's saying, oh, CPA offers, I'm going to promote this and that, and I'm going to put banners on the phone. Well, we're stepping back and we're saying, no, I'm going to let you pay me for the phone. <laughs> You've got this phone service where people are running ads and doing all this other stuff. Well, I'm going to be the phone provider. It's like going back to the ringtone days and owning the ringtone offer and getting paid that residual income every single month, okay? Now, those people are making millions and millions of dollars, right? Well, that's kind of going back to that is saying, I'm going to, I'm giving, I'm at the base here, right? I'm at the base here and I'm going to give you, <laughs> I'm going to give you the service that everyone has. And like I mentioned in the beginning, nobody changes their cell phone service once they've switched, right? So once people switch to a new cell phone service, because you tell them, well, it's cheaper, right? You're paying $80 a month for Sprint or AT&T or 160 a month or whatever the heck they're paying, which is some ridiculous amount for sure, right? Because I don't know if you know this, that the mobile phone companies, they charge you extra because first of all you know you're paying for the phone that supposedly you got for $99 or $200 right and you're paying extra for that for the lifetime of your contract even though you paid it off five years ago and then they they charge you more because they want to advertise well Solovey which is this offer that we're talking about here no contract you don't pay them monthly for your cell phone, right? You bring your own unlocked phone and, and that's it. You own that phone. There's no contract. It's only 49 a month. It's actually 39 a month if you join today for two months and then 49 after that. Uh, so you're saving money on your phone bill, right? You're going to transfer your phone number. Runs on the T-Mobile network, by the way. My phone runs on it. It's just like having T-Mobile. <laughs> yeah, just like that. It's nationwide. They have 4G speeds. I mean, the cell phone service is competitive. It's competitive. It's cheap as hell, right? It doesn't cost anything close to what, what you're going to pay with other uh, other companies. There's no contract. And, I mean, excuse my language, but shit, it makes you money. <laughs> and it's step by step. So um, that's what I got for you today, guys. I hope that, that you enjoyed the, the background and that you got a lot out of it, okay? Because there's, there's a lot for you to... There's a lot that you can do on mobile, but I love this idea of stepping back. And it's like in the gold rush. I don't know if you guys know this story. The people who made money in the gold rush were not the people who were panning for gold. They were the people selling shovels, right? Because people needed shovels and well, people need cell phones and they need cell phone service. And it was like, you know, Levi jeans. Do you know that Levi made his money 
in the gold rush because people needed jeans. They needed good pants for panning for gold so that their clothes wouldn't rip. So that's, that's how I see this. I love this opportunity. I've been working with Mark on this for a long time and hell, I, I love helping you guys. Yeah. That's why I love coming here and doing webinars for you. And I love teaching in general, you know, as Rick mentioned in the beginning. And so, you know, you, you get to work directly with me. You get to, you get a free coaching session. You get to email me questions and there's nothing like having support. There's nothing like having support. And that's what I'm here for. Um, with us. And uh, so let me answer some questions here. Is it like a membership website? Um, no, it's not. It's just, it's cell phone service that comes with, you know, them paying you. So like, I haven't paid a phone bill since last year, <laughs> like early last year, I paid a phone bill still. Um, this year, I haven't paid a phone bill at all because, you know, it's, they pay me instead. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty incredible. Um, Daryl says, can people outside the U.S. do that? No, unfortunately, right now it's just U.S. and Puerto Rico. Pretty soon it's coming to the U.K. and Germany uh, and probably will spread in Europe. But uh, as for right now, U.S.A. and Puerto Rico only. Uh, but, Yarrow, you can um, you can probably take advantage of some of the other things that I talked about today with mobile CPA and, and picking a niche and list building and things like that. You know, it's going to be a little bit tougher. Um, it's not so much step by step, uh, but you can definitely take advantage of that. And I don't know if you guys know, just on a side note, um, you know, Offer Vault has a form now, uh, OV All Stars. Um, so if you if you're running just CPA and you want help with that, you know, feel free to join that. That's it's a great place to uh, to really um, to learn that stuff. But yeah, if you're in the U.S., you really want to go here. I mean, this is this is easy. It's simple. It's step by step, and you get all the support that you need. Uh, so not in the U.K. yet, Stephen, uh, but soon. Um, no, not Canadians yet, Mike. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, U.S. and uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, Joseph says, yep, make money. Yep, definitely. Um, all right. Oh, yeah, great question. So Mike's, Mike's asking about income range. Uh, so again, let me let me give you the disclaimer, okay? Um, most people don't make any money because most people don't do anything, okay? And that's the honest, honest truth. Most people don't do anything. I don't know if you guys hear my son out there. He hasn't had his nap yet, and my uh, his uh, his uncle is watching him today. I'm actually traveling. I don't know if I told you guys I'm uh, I've been traveling the last few weeks, kind of like all over the U.S. So um, I'm actually doing this from my laptop uh, <laughs> on uh, in in a bedroom in uh, in my uh, brother-in-law's home. So anyway, um, yeah. So what kind of income range? Let's talk about the income range. Um, for every, so this is like comp plans, and, and this is, you know what, this is explained in, in the sales funnel. So when, when you go here to free mobile, let me show you this again, because I don't want you guys to think that you would have to explain this to anybody, okay? So when you come here and you want to um, find out more, you're gonna click on this link right here. See this where it says need more information, enter your information here. You're gonna click here, you're gonna fill out your information, and you're going to start, you're going to see a lot of videos that explain all this stuff. It's going to explain how to make money. It's going to, it's going to show you how other people make money. It's going to show you the possibilities. Uh, but basically, you know, if you went crazy with this opportunity, um, you could get up to, um, you could set up like, <laughs> like something crazy, like six accounts and you could be making, you know, over 120,000 a month. OK, um, again, do most people do that? Hell no. Yeah. Most people will do a little bit. This is true with any marketing, right? With any marketing, any any CPA marketing, any um, any kind of Internet marketing. People will do a little bit. Some people don't do anything. They don't make anything. Some people do just a little bit and they'll make like, you know, they'll get, you know, nine trios and they'll have free phone service all of a sudden and, and then they'll stop. They'll be like, OK, I'm done. Uh, you know, I'm going to go back to work in my day job and some people will go all out and, and they'll make a lot of money. Okay. And some people will build teams and people on their teams will make a lot of money. And as a result, they're going to make a lot of money. That's kind of a nice thing about this is it's leveraged, right? You might pause your campaigns because you got something going on. You know, somebody, uh, somebody invites you to Hawaii and you go to Hawaii for a week and you leave the laptop at home and you got just your mobile phone and you come back and you made money because you got other people on your team making money. Right. And it's passing up to you. And because it's residual, it you, keeps paying you month after month. So uh, so that's my answer to what kind of income range you can expect. It depends on how much work you put into it. 
Uh, no Canada, guys. No Canada. Sorry. Uh, maybe in the future. Um, and Jim just, just says something really interesting. He says, sounds like there isn't any investment other than driving traffic, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And actually, you're probably going to save money because if you're like most people in the U.S., you're paying over $80 a month for your cell phone bill. I don't know anybody who's paid less than that unless they've got, you know, um, a, a prepaid phone and they're really limited. Like they can only talk a certain number of minutes or they can only send a certain number of texts. This is unlimited, right? It's uh, 49 a month, unlimited voice text and, and 4G data. Um, so it's, it's pretty kick-ass service. And uh, yeah, you save money initially and then you take that little bit that you have left over and yeah, put it into traffic and start making money. And I've even shared this with my family. You know, my, uh, my mother-in-law has this service. My uh, uh, my brother-in-law and his girlfriend have this service. Uh, my wife uses this service. I use it, obviously. So, I mean, this is something that if you're if you're into what's called old school marketing, you can just share with people. You can be like, "Damn, I'm saving a lot of money on my phone bill. What are you doing with that hundred and forty dollar AT and T bill?" Or I know, <laughs> my God, I know somebody was paying two hundred and fifty dollars a month for T-Mobile. I was like, "Do you know that you could get the same exact service for a fifth of that?" So it's a, it's a pretty easy sell. It helps people. And yeah, and you can actually, other than saving money, you can get it for free and you can make money. So it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, and what about people not living in the U.S.? So again, you can do this in Puerto Rico. Um, you can, you know, if you really wanted to do this, you could set up an LLC, you know, you could set up a business entity in the U.S. and, and do that. Um, and uh, if you if you want, just uh, email me and and ask about that. My my email is leanne.carmi at gmail.com. Okay, leanne.carmi at gmail.com. I'll, I'll respond here. Um, if you have a question about that, you know, you have a question about this or you have a question about other countries, you want, you know, a good offer to promote, I'm, I'm happy to help you if you're not in the USA. Um, yeah, thanks, Mike. Mike says, good training. Um, thank you, Mike. I uh, appreciate you being on here. Uh, love you guys. <laughs> um, I think I still have your hat uh, from, <laughs> from an event like four years ago. Um, do you have to wait until like, no, go right now. Go right now, Jorge. Go get set up, get, you know, if you're the first one, you'll get, you'll get the first coaching call. You know what I mean? Um, is this, Jennifer says, this product for mobile marketing optimizing only? No, Jennifer, if you wanted to, you could actually promote this on the web. Absolutely, you could promote this on the web. You could promote this offline, like I was saying. So, yeah, I mean, what it is, is you're capitalizing on the mobile industry because, again, everyone's got a smartphone. Everybody is <laughs> using it. They need service. They don't want to pay $100 to, uh, to Sprint and Verizon and AT&T and, and T-Mobile and all those companies. They want to pay less. They want to have good service. They want to have unlimited service. And so, yeah, so you're going to take advantage of that, help people out. And in the meantime, you're going to be making some money, which is freaking awesome. All right. So Zanebe says, is it MLM, multi-level marketing? Yeah. Yeah, most definitely, which is why you can relax and, and why you get support, right? Because how, how does multi-level marketing work is the people who bring you on, Mark and I, are going to support you. We're going to give you coaching. We're going to show you how to succeed. I'm, I'm going to plug you into a community that's going to help you succeed with this because I want you to be able to make money. Because guess what? You make money. Mark and I make money, right? That's how it works. So yeah, definitely. And as you're bringing people on, you're going to get that person that all of a sudden goes crazy. Like I had a friend who does PPV marketing and I said, you need to check this out, right? When I first started, I said, dude, you need to check this out. This is freaking awesome. He plugged in. He knew what he was doing right away. He got like 50 people in, in a matter of, I think two or three weeks and he's still getting paid for those people. So yeah. <laughs> so Jim says, thanks. Absolutely. Um, when am I sharing the six pages? So, so guys, when you opt in here, when you go right here and you put your information in, uh, I haven't set it up yet right now. You're going to get an email from me to help you get set up. If you're not, if you don't get yourself set up immediately. And, um, I am also going to add to the autoresponder the six page document. I'm going to give you guys a chance to get in there and I'm going to add that to autoresponder. So give it like uh, two, three days. I'm going to have that for you. And, uh, or I might try to get it for you 
faster. I'll, I'll see. I might, uh, I might broadcast it out and then uh, let you guys receive that. You might just get it twice or something just to make sure. Uh, but yeah, make sure you get opted in here and I will make sure that you get that document um, sooner than later. Um, and you can review everything and, you know, make decisions that way. Uh, Brock says, did you say there's no cost to start? Um, well, you're kind of getting, um, let's see, how do I put it? You're kind of getting a discount to start because if you're paying for mobile phone service, which everybody except my friend Mark is paying for mobile phone service, you're going to save money, right? You're going to transfer your phone number and immediately you're going to be saving money every month. So, yeah, there's a cost, but you're probably going to save money by doing it. All right, so uh, Jerry says, which would be the most simplest place to start with mobile since they're probably something of a learning curve in some more than the other? This is, Jerry. This is right here. This is exactly what you want to do. Offervault.com forward, forward slash free mobile. What makes it simple is that you've got full support. Okay, you've got full support. That's the beauty. You know, somebody asked, is it, uh, as Neve asked, is it MLM? Yeah, that's the beauty of network marketing is you're gonna have full support. You're gonna to get to capitalize on the mobile industry. You're gonna to get to learn how to promote and you're gonna be able to build your business as you're learning how to promote. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in your coaching session. So uh, that's the beauty of this. Mary says, thank you. Um, Mybert says, um, please, oh, I'm speaking a little fast. Oh, I apologize, Mary, but I, I get really excited about this stuff. Yeah, just opt in right here on this page, offervault.com, free mobile, and I'll make sure that you get the summary and uh, you'll be able to read it. Um, Mark says, you have to place people into a downline. No, Mark, this is all automated, really automated. <laughs> and, and Mark says, uh, you sound really happy, Leanne, beautiful little boy. Thanks for the info. Absolutely, man. Uh, I'm... I'm I don't want to corrupt your, your non-mobile lifestyle. I, I tell you what, Mark, I mean, you can you can set this up and you can turn your mobile phone off and leave it at home. Turn it on once in a while and look at all the notifications. I get um, I get text messages every time somebody joins my team. And I'm like, okay, cool, great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, this is totally automated. And Mark, what you want to do is when you go into this page and opt in, and let me show this again, uh, Go right here where it says need more information and just check out the system that I'm using. It's all automated. I mean, it's like incredibly, incredibly easy to, to use and step by step for people you bring on. You hardly need to do anything. Yeah. Um, OK, and uh, maybe I already answered that question. So you might want to watch the replay later on Offer Vault. Uh, yeah. And Sheila, same thing. So yeah, if you missed the beginning. Yeah, you want to watch that because I, I did a really um, like big. Uh, big overview of the entire mobile industry. So really, really helpful to watch that. Yeah, it is way cool, Mark. I agree. Okay, so um, Mike says, oh, okay, so Mike, you're already going through the uh, the funnel. That's awesome. Mike, if you have questions about that, just shoot me an email. I mean, I think if you watch all the videos, it's gonna answer like 99% of your questions, honestly. So, you know, and everybody, if you've got more questions about actually Sol Solve, you want to learn more, because I didn't really talk about that. I'm just excited about the opportunity. So, um, yeah, just enter your information right here where I've got it highlighted on the page, and uh, you'll be able to check that out, all right? So, and Mike, I, and that'll answer your question. If it doesn't, just shoot me an email, okay? So, again, my email is leanne.carmi at gmail.com. I, I might have a different email connected to this uh, this list right here that you opt into. And, and if you do, just hit reply and it'll get to me. You know, opt in here, hit reply, ask me whatever questions you have, and I'll be happy to get you spotted. Yeah, uh, so here, let me send you that um, that link again. It is right here. And let me put an HTTP in front of it. Okay, so you should be able to Click right there, guys, in the questions box. Okay. And Sheila, yeah, if that was a little quick for you, no worries. What you want to do next is go to that website that I just plugged into the into the questions box for you. Um, that's going to take you step by step. You can take all the time that you want to go through. That's going to answer 99% of any questions that you have. It's all automated. You'll have my email. You'll be able to uh, to go in there. And my free mobile, it's, it's going to take you to that page. Why is it called free mobile? Because most people will start sharing it because they're like, man, I'm saving a lot of money. And all of a sudden, their mobile phone is free because they've shared it with nine people. So that's what free mobile is, okay? Um, and 
again, you click on that link, go to offervault.com forward slash free mobile. This is where it takes you, okay? The Offer Vault Solvay Opportunity page. You enter your information in there. And by the way, there's some bonuses listed for you for those of you who joined tonight. You enter your information in there and you continue on to this page. Okay, it's gonna tell you how to get started, how to set up your account. And you're also gonna go right here where it says need more information. You're gonna look at the marketing system. You're gonna get all set up and we're gonna start working together. And I'm gonna show you how to succeed. I'm gonna do your coaching session. Okay, guys. All right, so it's been an absolute pleasure. We've been at this for an hour and a half. Can you believe I've been talking for an hour and a half and I still have a voice? Isn't that crazy? And uh, I hear my son outside. He's um, <laughs> very, very ready for his nap. The poor kid is like beyond nap hours. I've, I've got him on Pacific time, but, uh, you know, here on the East Coast now. But, um, yeah, he's he's very much tired, and um, I think he, he needs to go and take a nap. So I'm going to go help him with that. I love all you guys. Thank you for being here. I, I, love, I love all the new people that I see on here, but I especially love all my old friends that are coming back and, and learning from me. And I, I hope you got a lot out of this. I really look forward to working with all of you. All right, guys. So any questions, just, again, opt into the page, offervault.com forward slash free mobile. Put your information right here, and we're going to be in touch. All right. Bye, everyone.